patient, first of all, has to be fit for any, any major surgery, so they need to not have heart failure or, or um, severe heart disease, for example. Um, patients need to be able to cope with losing the amount of lung that we're going to take out. Now, a healthy individual could lose an entire lung and could lead a normal life afterwards. And so we will order um, lung function tests before the surgery to work out what is their current lung capacity and then we'll work out what amount of lung we're going to remove and what is the quality of that lung. If we work out that a cancer appears operable, so we think that, that it hasn't spread beyond the lung and we think that the we can actually remove the whole tumour with surgery, then the, um, the obvious or the, the most um, standard procedure is called a lobectomy. I literally woke up at about 2am in the morning, I think, and I had about 12 tubes hanging out of every possible spot in my body, which was a little alarming, and obviously in the intensive care section. But I woke up and I didn't feel all that terrible. I was all right had the family at the end of the bed and uh, and that was and my son Richard he was a smoker and I don't know why I had this sort of thought it came to me I said here's my opportunity and I said to Richard I want you to promise me something and he said yeah sure what is it that I said you give up smoking and he hasn't smoked since so um, that's a good part of the story of the surgery anyway it's very important for uh, a patient having lung cancer surgery to uh, give up smoking as soon as possible. Um, and we, we know from um, previous research that if a patient give or, can give up smoking for at least two weeks prior to surgery, then their chances of getting wound infections, pneumonia, etc. are much lower.